Hello, it's the 18th of January and the sun has come out today. Uh, what it doesn't tell you is <laughs> just how nippy it is out there and it is really cold. Last night was an interesting experience. The, <laughs> the wind really picked up to the point where the windows were rattling last night and the rain was torrential. And although I tried to keep a fire in uh, for the night, uh, the rain and the wind have quite quickly put that out. So. It was a bit chilly, but that's okay. We were safe and we were dry, so all is good. I just feel like I need matchsticks to prop my eyes open today. But, well, two things. Uh, one is when the sun comes out beautifully like that, it shows up that the windows need a clean and uh, that there are cobwebs. And the second thing is, is I wanted to do something creative today. So it was a toss up between cleaning windows and getting creative. So my windows stayed dirty and uh, <laughs> and today I am uh, sitting at the table here uh, with a large amount of vintage uh, fabric already cut into squares and I'm starting uh, my next patchwork uh, quilt. And I haven't quite decided yet whether it will be a, um, a child's quilt or a duvet cover but uh, whatever it is it's going to be very pink. The last one I made uh, was all in pale blue and a uh, mid blue uh, for my grandson and today I'm not making this for anyone I'm making this to sell uh, at some point when I've finished it uh, but you've got to start somewhere so I'm starting with squares. I'm starting at square one yeah, I'm groaning on the inside too. When I was a teenager, I had a job uh, in a local hotel uh, serving breakfast to start with and then I became a chambermaid and then I served bar snacks and then I served evening meals. Uh, so I was there for a number of years uh, but what I used to do was I would uh, save my wages. Uh, I'd save up for a couple of months and then I would go to the local large city which was Bristol and I would go to the Laura Ashley store and I would buy a small piece of fabric uh, and I could I could usually only afford something like a quarter of a yard at a time um, but that was my thing and I have collected uh, Laura Ashley fabric for um, an embarrassing number of years. I bought my first piece of Laura Ashley fabric in 1977. Not all that long uh, after uh, she started printing her fabrics. So I have, I have quite a lot <laughs> of very old fabric and I've, and I have saved most of it to be able to make patchwork projects with and over the years I have certainly made uh, quite a few uh, patchwork bed covers and quilts and cushions. Um, and I just thought it was time uh, to get creative. It's too cold to be creative uh, outside in the garden and it's too early in the year to be planting seeds. So I thought I'd be creative indoors uh, and make something. Now I'd be telling you a big fat lie if I said that all of these uh, came from my earnings as a teenager. About 15 years ago, uh, I discovered the joys of eBay uh, and I bought an awful lot of uh, old curtains um, and old lengths of fabric, again in the Laura Ashley designs, uh, and I have used those uh, to cut up these squares as well. So they're not all from, from <laughs> they're not all ones I've had since a teenager. And some of the designs are a bit newer, um, but I don't think there's anything newer uh, than about 10 years old, if that makes sense. Everything's older than 10 years. So. I love fabric. I am a bit of a hoarder. Um, I have uh, an embarrassing amount of fabric uh, and I just don't care. I don't care that it's embarrassing. Uh, I am embarrassed when people see it because, because it <laughs> makes me look like one of those hoarders who are going to have piles of newspapers in corners and, uh, and save all the cat food tins, which I don't do. Uh, I hasten to add. So today, yes, today I'm just playing, which is lovely. 
first thing this morning uh, we were we were up bright and early because mr j had a very early start at work today um and oh, i was texting with my daughter before five o'clock this morning um <laughs> and i would be worried about her being up but she has a two-year-old uh, and he was awake so she was awake i'm so pleased i haven't got a two-year-old anymore <laughs> So yeah, so he went off to work and I have already got lunch uh, on the go, on the cooker. Can you see my halo glowing, how good I've been today? And which I thought gave me a chance to um, just to play uh, with some creativity. Welcome to the 150 people who have subscribed uh, in the last 24 hours, uh, which, which has been absolutely amazing. Uh, welcome. I hope you're going to enjoy uh, my blithering away. I don't always just sit here and chanter away. Uh, I, honestly, I do do stuff as well. Um, <laughs> not when it's this cold. And apart from the wind and the rain keeping me awake last night, my little furry friend Monty uh, decided that he was bored in the middle of the night and he wanted to play. So, <laughs> uh, because obviously uh, Mr J and I were asleep, but he found some things to play with. Uh, <laughs> And one of those uh, was the light pull for the bathroom. So you know when you go into a bathroom and you've got the string, you've got that string hanging down and it's usually got a little handle thing on the end of it. Um, he decided that he would then jump up and start knocking that against the wall, uh, which he merrily did uh, on and off during the night. And uh, every time he did it, sorry, he's down here. Every time he did it, I woke up thinking, is that a burglar? Oh no, it's the cat. <laughs> And when he, when he'd finished uh, playing that, he then decided that our radiators, our, our central heating system, comes on and off during the night. When it gets cold enough, it automatically kicks in and just and just warms the house a tiny bit and stops pipes from freezing. Uh, so every time it came on, it would make the radiators click a little bit. And so he ended up with his head against the radiator listening for the clicks and every time there was a click he kind of bat at the radiator <laughs> it was very funny to watch um and at some point when he does it again i will grab my camera and uh, and try and film it it was it was very sweet uh but not in the middle of the night uh, in other news the roses that i got a couple of weeks ago for my birthday um are starting to uh, well they're starting to wilt and sag uh, so I will over the next couple of days um, take the cuttings that I was going to take uh, and I'll video that so you can see exactly what it is that I do very straightforward it will be a very short video if you're enjoying my vlogs please uh, like comment uh, share on social media uh, if you haven't done so already uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, and if you hit the little bell uh, next to the subscribe button, you'll then get a notification uh, each time I upload a new video. And so, wherever you are in the world and whatever you're up to today, I hope it's a good one. And I also hope you can join me again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.